So let's see right now inside this onCreate method how we can initialize our string. So I'm just going to type in string and then sentence. And so I'm just typing in a sentence. I'm just saying Java is a nice and fine programming language. And so I just want to split this sentence into multiple um, multiple slots of an array and my array of words will contain all these uh, words that you see right here inside the sentence and so I'm just typing in string and then the square brackets for an array and then I'm just saying words and I'm setting equal to sentence dot split there is a method called split which as you can see right now it returns a string array that's what uh, this represents is just a returning type and so I'm just gonna click on it and as you can see right now we have this split method we just want to specify inside this uh, quotes what is the, um, the method of splitting and I'm just specifying that I want to split it by spaces so that means that um, this array will have all the tokens that are created by eliminating the spaces from the sentence. So that means the first token is going to be Java, then is, and so on. So it's going to take all the words and they're going to be put inside this um, words array. And so I have my array of string. Right now I'm just going to show you how to traverse the array. So I'm going to leave a comment right here, traverse. And here is for initializing by the split method and so in order to traverse it we just need a for loop so I'm just going to use this for loop and then I'm saying for string word so for each string word inside my words array I'm just going to use a toast message and I'm going to display something on the screen so I'm going to say word and then I'm just going to say how many um, letters it has and so in order to find out how many letters it has I'm just going to type in dot length as you can see right here and then I just want to specify um, this many letters so that's what is going to be displayed on the screen so word has the number of letters so it depends on the word how many letters it has and so I'm just gonna run the emulator and we're gonna see what's gonna be displayed on the screen so that's why I'm just zooming in right now and so it says Java has four letters and so on it just displays all the all the words that we have in the array and so as you already uh, noticed they are all in the order of uh, the sentence but if I want to sort it out they're gonna be it's gonna be a bit um, counterintuitive because um, Java is gonna be the first one and that's because it's just uh, taking uh, the ASCII codes of each character and uh, the uppercase characters come first and then the lowercase come after in the ASCII ordering so that's why it's just taking this uh, Java the first and that's why I'm just gonna show you this on the screen how it works so I'm just gonna type in arrays.sort and then I'm just gonna pass my sentence or I should rather just uh, use this words array because that's the one that we want to sort and then um, I'm just gonna leave it like this I'm not gonna use a comparator uh, I'm not gonna change uh, the order or do anything else I'm just gonna run the emulator so you can see all the words displayed in alphabetical order or better let's say in the ASCII order if it would have been alphabetical then we need to uh, make it uh, case insensitive right now it's case sensitive so that means that um, the uppercase words come first then the lowercase words afterwards and so what we need to do right now is to sort and this is case insensitive the one that we're gonna be doing right now and what we need to do is to specify string dot case insensitive order and this is just a comparator 
that um, helps us with this uh, feature. So this is the case in sensitive mode and so you will see that Java won't be the first uh, word and so just running the emulator and you can see what's displayed on the screen. And so right now we have them correctly displayed in alphabetical order and if that's what you want for your application it's just uh, as easy as it is right here. So you just have to specify that string dot case insensitive order and that's how it works.